Southeast Alaska, home to massive salmon runs, giant halibut, and ample black bears. This hunt is a cast and blast of sorts. I'm taking my brother Ryan on a fishing trip while I venture out alone to hunt the giant bears Southeast AK is known for. It's a different kind of adventure, spending the downtime filling our freezer with fresh fish while chasing bears with a bow in hand as the salmon run upstream to spawn. I'm back. Come up here, boy. Open the wall door. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom. Look at that guy. I'll tell you this right now. Probably there's not a big buck like that to these damn cameras. Patience is definitely a virtue that I have. Or lazy enough. This thing's a tank. It's a bad day right there. We start our journey in the small fishing town of Ketchikan. Salmon is king here. The area thrives on the salmon runs. While fishing is the main attraction, the surrounding rivers attract large bears out of the area's temperate rainforest to feast on the abundant food source. From here, we jump in a float plane to a friend's remote cabin where we will borrow a boat for transport. As we fly in, I'm reminded of a bear hunt a few years earlier I took in the spring with my good friend Jeremy Rusink of Rogue Expeditions. Jeremy and I landed his plane in the remote tidal flats outside of Anchorage in search of black bears on a spur of the moment late spring hunt in a predator management unit. decides to show up. Bear rich environment. Might as well take a nap where black bears look frequent. Can't hurt. This one decides to snack on you. This is a very large bear. It's like a seven foot black bear. And I wasn't actually planning on hunting black bears, but this is a bear control area. And they say that the black bears actually kill more moose calves than the brown bears do. So they've opened it up and are trying to knock down the bear numbers in here. And this is definitely a very big old boar. Really cool.
Although not seen by many as a normal meal, bears make excellent table fare, and it's always a tradition for me to cook up some of the fresh meat in camp. <laughs> There's something primal about shoving meat down the stack. <laughs> Some of it is, some of it isn't. That stuff looks done. <laughs> this would be really good. It's like beef brisket. Yeah. It's like beef brisket. It's like tender and pretty tasty. Back in southeast Alaska, Ryan and I touch down in a remote bay where my friend keeps his boat at his family fish shack. My brother Ryan, although a hunter, has always wanted to fish in Alaska. This is his first trip to the state, and I'm excited to share the adventure in the place that I enjoy so much. The plan is simple. Scout the area for running salmon with our rods and keep the hunting gear in the boat just in case we see a good spot to hunt. Around here, running salmon equals bears. Finding the fishing spot means you simultaneously found the hunting spot. Every river and stream may have different runs at different times. So when you find the one with a good run in it, it's a good idea to invest some time and fish it before moving on. Here we go. Oh, I shouldn't oh. have stopped reeling. Let him take it. He did. There you go. Now, set. Set. Nice. Now walk down. There you go. Good catch. With all the splashing sounds and action in the river, it doesn't take long for us to encounter our first bear. Up until this point, I had fishing on my mind, but seeing this bear is getting me fired up to start hunting. Got a bear right behind me. Just cruising. It's pretty cool. Just out here fishing. There's a little bear. I'm not worried about that bear. I'm worried about its mama. Cool. Oh, there's a bigger bear right there. I'm gonna my pistol ready. Right there. Bigger one. It's not a bad bear. It's not huge, but I think if I can get within bow range. Sneak up there and get closer. He's just not paying attention. Nearly at the same time the small boar walked out, a mature boar worked his way toward the river just upstream. It's time to switch modes from fishing to hunting. I've got the bear right in front of me. I hear something snapping in the woods behind me too. Could be another bear. He 
meteors. gave me the slip. Uh, I'm gonna head back to where I was and I gotta go grab my pack because the tide's about to turn any minute and that tide just comes in fast. I gotta hustle back there, make sure my pack and all my good cameras are not underwater or you'll see uh, the rest of the show will just be me cussing at myself for being an idiot. As the trip continues, Ryan and I take advantage of the good weather and try our luck at filling our freezers with rockfish, halibut, and salmon. Although the southeast is notoriously the wettest place in Alaska, we luck out with amazing sunny weather. This makes for an enjoyable fishing trip and some good brother bonding time. Fishing in the books, I'm itching to grab my bow and chase some bears. I think we want to go to the right. You send off. Good luck. Catch some dinner. I'll give you a good push and then you can check just to make sure that you know. Just gonna load up my gear. Dropped off with a fishing rod. My brother is just gonna go out and fish. I'm gonna work up this river and hopefully get into some bears coming out and feeding on the salmon. The tide is uh, still coming in, so it should be pretty good for a little while. I didn't really see any activity of fish, so there may not even be a bear around. But uh, I got my cameras, my bow, and a fishing rod, and I'm just gonna hunt up here by myself today while he's out there fishing and doing his thing.
seen so much bear tonight. I would not be surprised if one walks up on me. Oh, that call, they can come from any direction. After the big bear slipped into the woods across the river, I head back to my pack to reassess my plan. The salmon start moving up the river with the tide, and it's a good sign the bears will be out fishing again. Got back to my pack, turned around, and another bear stepped out, going up there. my way upstream after the bear as he keeps disappearing into the woods. I keep getting glimpses of him before he eventually disappears for good. Getting hammered by bugs, but uh, that just did not work out as planned. He just kept moving, would not stop. And I go back to my pack, turn around, there's another bear out about the same size. They aren't huge, but good enough for me. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to uh, grab my stuff, head up there a little bit, sit and wait for another hour, and then head back out. My brother come pick me up. I look out there in the binos and he's just wrenching on a fish. So kind of cool to watch from afar. He loves to fish, it's cool. And I can go do my thing by myself, go up the river, hunt for bears. You can go out there and just catch fish. I just want to showcase this aspect of what it means to be, what the word solo hunter means. Yeah, we of course do those backcountry solo mission trips, backpacking cameras. But there's also these trips where I get to spend time with my brother, I get to go bear hunting, he gets to do his thing, I get to do my thing, and we meet up and tell fish stories, hunt stories, whatever. And that's pretty awesome.